Hey guys, it's Shelby from Big Cat Creative, and in this video, we are going to talk about all things domains. So you've put in all of the hard work to build your amazing new website, you've customized it to perfection, and you're so excited to get it out there into the world. And one of the most important final steps is purchasing and connecting your custom domain. Your domain is your website's address on the internet and will always be shown up here in the top of the website browser. This is where your website lives and it makes it really easy for people to find your business through a recognizable name. When you create your website within Squarespace, you're automatically going to be assigned a built-in domain. And while these built-in domains are free and can be customized to some extent, they're always going to include this .squarespace com at the end, which makes things slightly less professional and specific to your business. And they're also always usually comprised of a string of random words and numbers that are a little bit wacky. So it's not necessarily the best thing to share with potential customers or other people who might be viewing your site. If you did want to try keeping this built-in domain for a temporary amount of time just to save a bit of money, you can totally customize this first part so that it's not as crazy by going to settings, domains and email, and then domains. Another way that you can navigate to different items throughout your website is by clicking slash on your keyboard and typing in whatever it is that you're looking for. Squarespace does tend to move around their menu items quite a bit, so if for whatever reason what you're looking for isn't where it usually is or it isn't where you think it should be, it's likely that they've just switched things around. So using the slash on your keyboard is kind of a foolproof way of always being able to find exactly what you're looking for. You can then click on your built-in domain and under where it says site ID, you can delete those crazy words and numbers and customize it to fit your business more specifically. Just keep in mind that no matter what you customize here, your built-in domain is always going to be followed by .squarespace.com. So if that isn't gonna quite cut it for you and you wanna take the next step up, you can do so by purchasing a custom domain. And you can do that in a couple of different ways. The first and probably easiest option is to purchase your domain directly through Squarespace. All of Squarespace's subscriptions come with one free year of your custom domain if you purchase an annual plan, which is really, really nice. Past that first year, your domain is probably going to set you back around $20 to $40, although some of the more high demand names can get up to that $70, $80 mark. So if that's the case for a domain name that you're interested in, or if for some reason you can't find the name that you like within Squarespace, you also have the option of purchasing your domain through a third-party provider like GoDaddy or WordPress. These third-party providers are typically a little bit more affordable than Squarespace. However, it is a massive advantage to host your domain within Squarespace because everything is just in one place. You don't have to worry about transferring or managing another platform. So let's talk about that first. We'll navigate to our domains panel again this time by clicking slash on our keyboard, typing in domains, and then from here you'll want to click on get a domain. Once you're here, you can search any domain name you'd like in this search bar, and Squarespace will let you know if it's available or not. If the name that you searched isn't available, Squarespace will also give you some alternative options, which is really nice if you're not totally attached to that original name that you searched because it gives you some new ideas that you might not have thought of before. Once you found a domain that you love, you can go ahead and click on the little checkout cart next to it and follow the steps to purchase your domain. And once you're done with all of that, your domain will automatically be added to your new site. If you already own a domain through Squarespace and you want to connect it to the new website that you just created, you can do so by going back into your main account dashboard and clicking into the domains panel here. From here, you can choose which domain you want to connect to your new site, and in the pop-up window, click on Manage Domain Settings at the bottom. You'll then be brought into your settings, and you'll click on the domain again that you want to transfer, and up on the right-hand corner, you'll click Move Domain. You can then choose from all of the active subscriptions that are under your Squarespace account, click on the site that you want to transfer the domain to, and click Save to start the transfer process. Now it is possible that Squarespace doesn't support the domain that you're looking for or that it's a little bit more expensive through Squarespace. And if that's the case, it's worth looking into some other third-party domain providers. Platforms like GoDaddy and Bluehost and WordPress are really great alternatives and we'll include a list to some other really common ones within the full blog post so that you can check those out yourself. 
It might be a good idea to just shop around a little bit and compare all of the options so that you know that you're completely happy with the choice that you're making. If you do ultimately decide that the domain you want just isn't supported by Squarespace and so you're going to go with a third-party provider, there is a way that you can connect that domain into Squarespace so that you can use it with your new Squarespace website. So let's talk about that. I will just note really quickly right here that most third-party providers will also include detailed instructions on how to complete this connection on their end. So you can always go to the help center of your chosen platform and find some further instruction there. And Squarespace also has a really nice platform specific instruction page that you can check out as well. And we'll have that linked in the full blog post. Okay, so to connect your domain, we are again going to navigate into our domains panel. And instead of get a domain, we are going to click use a domain I own. You can then go ahead and enter in the domain that you've purchased and let Squarespace recognize it for you. There is an option here to transfer your domain. And what this does is remove the domain that you just purchased from the third party platform and moves it completely over to Squarespace. So in that case, Squarespace will then own the domain and everything that has to do with managing the domain will then be done in Squarespace and no longer in that third party platform. However, you can only use this option if the domain that you've purchased is one that's supported by Squarespace. So most likely you already went through Squarespace to check to see if your chosen domain is supported. And if it wasn't, you then went to a third party platform to purchase it there. So now what we need to do is connect the domain. This allows all of the management for that domain to remain in the third party platform. They own the domain and they manage everything having to do with the domain. However, we're going to connect it to Squarespace so that you can then link it to your new website. So once Squarespace has recognized your domain, click Connect Domain. If you purchased your domain through one of the more popular domain platforms like GoDaddy, Squarespace actually might help you complete some of the connection steps, which is really nice. So all you need is your login information and maybe some additional personal information, and you can then click Get Started and they'll help you complete the connection process. If you've used one of the less popular platforms, a pop-up menu is going to show up and you'll just have to click on your domain provider or click other if it's not on the list. And then it's gonna take you to your DNS settings panel. You can also always choose to connect your domain this way by clicking on no, use DNS records instead. The DNS records that are gonna pop up will look something like this. And this contains all of the important information that you're then going to need to copy and paste into your domain provider in order to officially connect your domain. So once this settings panel opens up in Squarespace, keep it open in its own tab. Don't close it out because you're going to need all of this. And then open up a new tab to log into your domain provider's account. Once you've logged in, you'll want to locate where you can manage your DNS settings. And then you'll update all of the records with what you see in this settings panel. So you'll copy all of this information and then you'll just need to wait for your domain to connect. This can take anywhere up to 72 hours. So be sure to just keep an eye on things to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Okay, and then once you're done with all of those steps, it is time to make your website live. It is important to remember that adding a domain to your website doesn't automatically take things live. You do still need to purchase your website subscription and then manually set your website to public. So to do that, you can either navigate to settings and then site availability, or you can hit the slash on your keyboard and type in site availability. And from here, you'll just set your website to public. Now you can officially celebrate because your website is live and ready for people to view. Okay, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a lot about domains. Be sure to subscribe. We post new videos every week and we hope to see you in the next one.